my name is bilal khan and you are watching simplified coding recently i conducted a workshop about gemini nano that is google's new on device ai in this video i will show you a small demo app that we built during the workshop it's not a big project but it clearly shows what gemini nano can do using mlkit gen ai apis now if you don't know what gemini nano is then Gemini Nano is Google's AI that runs directly on your phone and it can handle many small AI tasks without sending your data to the cloud. So your data stays private on your device. Now there are two ways to use it. The first one is using Google AI Edge SDK. Now this works only on Pixel 9 and newer devices. Unfortunately, I don't have a Pixel device. Now the next option that we are going to use in this project is MLKit Gen AI APIs. These are available on some other phones too. You can check if your device supports it. In my case, I have a Samsung S25 Ultra and it supports these APIs. So I'm going to use my real device to run this application. You need a supported device. If you don't have a supported device, you cannot run this project. Gemini Nano actually runs inside the Android system. It uses something called AI Core, that is a system service that handles all the AI features. I won't go too deep into the technical part right now. So let's come to the point. With MLKit Gen AI APIs, you get four main features. The first one is summarization, then proofreading, and you can rewrite and you can describe images. So these four features right now we can use with MLKit Gen AI APIs. So you can see this is the project, the link of the repository I have given in the description of this video. So from there you can clone this project in your Android studio. And here you can see I have four packages for every feature that we have in our MLKit Gen AI APIs. For example, the first one is image description. If you open this, then this is the UI. This is the view model where I am processing the image. So this will take the image and it will describe the image. And to do this, I'm using MLKit Gen AI APIs. Now it is not available in all the devices. So if the feature status is unavailable, that means your device is not supported. If it is available, uh, that means either it is downloaded already or it is downloadable. So in case it is available but not yet downloaded in your device, then in that case it needs to download that feature. And if it is available, we can simply start the description. So the code is pretty much same in all the packages. So you can check it out. Now we will run the application. You can see I have my real device that is a Samsung device and you need a real device to test this project or else you will get this error. That means the image description or whatever feature you are using is not available on this device. So in my case, it is available. I have a Samsung S25 Ultra. Okay, so I will run this application and this device. So let me cast the screen. So I will use my Samsung. Now I will run this application. So this is the home screen. Now we can use all the features. So we get four features in the Gen AI APIs using MLKit. And you can see my phone is in flight mode. So that I will demonstrate that you do not need internet to use on-device AI. And that is obvious, right? It is on-device AI. So let's start with summarization. So I will paste something from clipboard. So I will paste this text and I will click summarize. You can see it is summarizing. And you can see we get the summary without using internet. So this Gen AI is generating the response. Now let's test some other feature. For example, proofreading. So here you can see I have written a text and the spellings are very much incorrect. So what I will do is I will just change something and you can see it is processing the text and I have created a chat screen so that you can use it in your chat application. 
So you can see it generated a new text and now we don't have any spelling error. The same way we can test rewrite. For example, this is the message and I can use different options to rephrase the text. For example, I want to make it short. So I can select this and I have a short version of this. I can select elaborate. Then I can select friendly and professional like this. So you can use these small features in your application to enhance the user experience. Now the last one, image description. So here I will pick an image. Let's say I will select my image from here and it is describing a man in a white shirt stands on a podium holding a microphone and speaking into a microphone. Nice, right? Let's try some other image. Let's try this one. It is from a mosque and you can see it recognizes very well. It is a mosque, correct? So it works very awesome, right? So this is how you can use the MLKit Gen AI APIs in your applications to enhance the user experience. You can get the source code of this project to test it out. And in case you have any question or confusion, you can leave your comments below. I would be happy to help you. And please like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.